Hello, this is Leonardo. In this video, I'm going to show you a small tip uh, regarding how to make a kind of side, uh, side chain compress compression uh, based on flux. I mean, this is not a flux, it's not a real compressor, but you can, you can simulate that behavior with, with it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, uh, Trumor as as a input, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is, is take flux, and let's take a scope, so we can see the input. This is the input of Trumor, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the uh, the output of Trumor put it into flux and turning off the mode so there is no sample hole there is no no comparator and I'm gonna change to to the envelope mode so as you can see that uh, right now the envelope is not is not being traced very well because it it's very fast so if we start increasing the rate what happens is that at some point we can see that we have clearly, uh, we're cl clearly following the envelope of, of the tumor signal. So with this, with this uh, signal, what we can do is add an ops. I want to take this one here. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use the attenuator to make it negative, like this. So now we have a, a signal that that by the time when the kick uh, reaches its point, it goes low and then it, it start it goes goes up as, as the as the kick is released. So with this thing, we can make a, a very basic uh, uh, side chain effect or a docking effect. I'm gonna use the fundamental VCA. I'm going to take the output of VESEC, put it here, so I have the kick. We're going to take this signal into the VCA, let's see, in the linear. As you can hear already the defect. If we want to make this a little bit more complex or more controlled, we can use a, another channel of flux. And in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to take the signal and put it into, into a follower. So right now, it's, it's behaving exactly the same. But uh, if I increase, let's say, the rate, we can see how, how the signal starts getting a different effect. Let me... Let me uh, Turn on the volume so you can hear the difference. This is as as uh, it was in the previous example. And now we can hear that the, the volume is not lower immediately after the, the first hit of the kick. And if we put it in the exponential mode, it behaves slightly different. I think it sounds better in the exponential when changing the volume. So this, this is the case if we use a, a VCA, but it also gets interesting if you use, let's say, instead of a VCA, you use a filter. Let's use uh, tangents. So I'm going to take the same signal, the output.
and we, we get that docking effect but with with the filter instead if we go to the other direction we can make it inverse Other way that we can that we can do some nice effect as well. It's instead of taking uh, this signal uh, straight from here, we can pass it. Let me remove this. We can pass it through an envelope like Spank. So I'm gonna take the original and I'm gonna use it as gate. So what happens now is that we have a, we we can control more finely the the behavior of, of the docking signal using using the envelope. So I'm gonna take this one and again into the filter. Once we have the, the envelope, we can do other effects. For example, use the, the loop mode. Something like that and yeah that's everything just using the the envelope follower of uh, flux and you can use it to control in any other kind of uh, effect let's uh, let's put uh, some delay see the fundamental to address it, let's use the second which is softer <laughs> it doesn't sound very interesting <laughs> but it's possible that's it this is one way that you can use the envelope follower in Trumor to make some very basic compressor or a docking effect okay. thank you very much for watching this and goodbye